Hello everyone, this is Almir, VE3DAL. Uh, today in this video I'm going to show you uh, my new uh, Yagi 2 element for uh, 20 meters with uh, loading coil, uh, which is uh, set up just behind me here. And um, today I'm testing uh, this antenna at uh, my in-law's uh, house. Uh, some time ago they uh, invited me if I if I want to test some antennas and stuff like that I would be uh, welcome uh, to do it in here and uh, they have a nice backyard uh, there's not too many houses uh, around here so it's not uh, crowded so it's a perfect place to do something like that uh, today is a bit windy um, in fact the uh, driven element it kind of got tilted a little bit so the SWR went up a little bit, but uh, I think it's still it's still workable. And uh, so this uh, this antenna, I got some uh, the the measurements I got uh, from this uh, web page, and uh, I followed the the measurements of uh, his name is Gary Hanson, um, Kilo Julia Four Victor Whiskey, I think he is call sign, and um, so I followed the the measurements of the coils. Uh, that he did and uh, but he was uh, using the uh, uh, speak wires I think and uh, but in my case I did uh, I built this antenna uh, same approach uh, that I did when I uh, built the uh, 10 meters uh, two elements, uh, uh, which is in my last video and uh, so the measurement is a bit different um, after I completed it but uh, but it, it looks okay, like the SWR, I think it was like 1.1. 1 .1. So, um, so we'll see uh, how it works. And uh, like I said, I had a quite a hard time to put this thing up because it's quite a wind out here today. But uh, we'll see. So uh, let's go inside and uh, see how this thing works. Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima. Uh, Roger, Roger, uh, Mark, I have you five night as well into Ottawa, Ontario. I'm just testing a new uh, homebrew antenna, QSL. QSL, don't let go of that one, that's a good one. Uh, Roger, Roger, it's uh, two elements Yagi uh, that I just built uh, for uh, portable operation, QSL. Well, if it's anything like what I'm hearing right now, it's going to work really well for you. Roger, Roger, Mark, I'm actually making a little video for my YouTube channel and I will be posting uh, later on today. Uh, thank you for the contact in 73, my friend. 73, take care. Uh, good luck on that video. All right, Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima, copy 5-6. Roger, Roger, Peter, thank you for the 5-6. I have you 5758 into Ottawa, Ontario, QSL. QSL, QSL, 57 Ottawa. Thank you much and hope to catch you again soon. 73. QSL, QSL, it was a long time. Uh, good to hear from you. I have you 59 into Ottawa, Ontario, QSL. Thank you for Ottawa today, 73. Appreciate it. Uh, was there another Victor Echo station out there? Roger, Roger. Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima. Roger, Roger, good afternoon, Jack. I have you 59 uh, into Ottawa, Ontario, QSL. Oh, fantastic. You sound like uh, the cell phone signal. Uh, great signal. Uh, wonderful. Roger, Roger, thank you very much for the, uh, for the report. I'm just testing a new antenna, uh, two elements Yagi uh, homebrew QSL. Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. I'm just uh, operating uh, 20 watts uh, into uh, Ottawa, QSL. Oh my gosh, you're doing a great job on 20 for sure. Okay, thanks for uh, hunting and uh, we'll catch you again. Seven, six. Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima, 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 Victor Echo 3, Delta
QSL, QSL, Mark Tank for the 59. I have you 5758 into Ottawa, Ontario, QSL. QSL, great signal and thank you for the contact with our model today. Alright, guys, so here we are with the antenna down. And uh, I did a quick test and uh, was pretty happy with the result. And uh, I wish it was a uh, uh, like the driven element it didn't tip the way it did but uh, it was it was okay even, even though I got a great signal great report and uh, this time for the uh, for the boom I used a uh, a drywall sending uh, telescope uh, post which is uh, aluminum and it's lighter than PVC and it's it's stronger um, since the separation between the two elements this time is about uh, 8 feet and 6 inches and uh, if I would use the PVC pipe that would bend quite a bit I tried but it didn't work so with this one it, it works fine it bends a little bit but it's uh, it, it works a lot better and uh, so here we are at the driven element pretty much basically the same thing when I built my uh, the 10 meters uh, using the uh, aluminum tape and uh, fishing rod so basically the same uh, a different balloon but the same one on one balloon and uh, the connection is pretty much the same and uh, so the t this time the difference is the those are the coil that uh, I got from the uh, the web page and uh, pretty much is the same the same procedure having a, a wood rod inside and uh, and I did some uh, TD, uh, 3D printing uh, for the uh, for fittings to uh, to fit them tight in there and uh, so I'll leave all the measurements down the uh, description and, uh, for, for, for anybody who uh, wants to try this I think it's a great antenna I think is uh, I'd look forward to bring to the cottage I think we are going there this weekend so I want to bring with me this one and the 10 meter so uh, I want to see how they work out there and uh, we'll have more time to play around with them as well so so far it's so good I mean you know it's a pretty uh, pretty slick looking antenna you know it's, and uh, the approach of uh, using the aluminum tape and uh, I think it works really well and uh, it gives us actually a, a broadband more than uh, than speak wires and uh, yeah so that that's great all right guys uh, time to wrap it up and go home and uh, uh, thank you very much for watching uh, this video and uh, and also I want to thank everyone for uh, the uh, new subscribers uh, everyone who watched my last video about the uh, Yag 2 elements 10 meter and uh, very nice comment and uh, and all for all the viewers thank you very much i really appreciate it. so uh, i'll see you in the next one thank you very much for watching and 73